Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. Alright, guys, so today in my DIY adventures, uh, we, uh, we got this pergola that we built. You may have seen uh, the video, it's, uh, there's a link right here from Costco. It's 12 by 14 uh, yardistry wood pergola with an aluminum roof. And uh, in another video, we put up uh, stringer lights that we got from Costco. But we want to add a ceiling fan to it. So we we're having to wire it for a ceiling fan. You can see up here that uh, we've got um, some wiring being put in place. I actually have a box for it, but uh, it's out in the garage being painted. But I did paint the rest of the conduit already. And you can see um, that's all being run down to here. Um, and I'm going to connect it into the house and uh, connect the ceiling fan. And I'll, I'll show you which fan uh, I got. It's uh, this one right here. Um, we got an Amazon, uh, kind of a palm tree looking tropical uh, thing. Um, I think it was like 127 I'll post it in the link. And uh, it was very affordable for uh, an outdoor fan. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this together and I'll kind of show you what I did as I went along. So the conduit pieces were all gray. We got them at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and it's just electrical conduit for outdoors. The trim on the, the, the gazebo uh, from the factory is, is all black. So I didn't want this gray uh, conduit. So we painted all the conduit black. We had to buy some wire on a roll that we bought and we bought like 50 feet of it. Um, and we threaded that through uh, manually, uh, which went pretty well. And uh, hopefully this is, I mean, I'm an electrician. I'll probably get comments from electricians, but hopefully this is uh, uh, gonna be okay. So, uh, and uh, I guess we'll find out. So you see the conduit goes along the roof behind that uh, support beam right there. Like it comes out of the eave right there and then runs down here into this switch so I can turn the fan on and off and then continues down here to a junction box where it becomes uh, basically a, a plug and plugs into that outdoor socket right there. This is just something that you lift up, and there's a GFCI outlet there. Okay, so here you can see me hanging the uh, ceiling fan box. The ceiling fan has to have something to mount up to. So, like inside the house, you would normally have a, a, a box built into the ceiling. So that's what I'm doing here. It's been painted black, because uh, normally they're metal. Uh, so I've painted it to match the trim on the gazebo. I am deathly afraid of heights, so I do not need any excuse to be on a ladder, but here I am, 10 feet in the air, and I'm convinced I'm going to fall to my death. So now I'm mounting the ceiling fan bracket, the bracket that holds the fan up, right to the box. Now that the box is in, uh, the box holds the, ba the bracket, and then the ceiling fan slips into that uh, bracket. So here I am now, I'm attaching the fan motor uh, with a 12 inch down rod. I decided to wire the fan while it was hanging there, uh, with all that extra wire uh, and then you'll see in a minute here where I just pull the wires through from the other end to snug it up and to get rid of any extra slack. Now I'm tucking the extra wiring into the shroud or the scutcheon it's called, um, the decorative plate that covers the wiring. I've got that attached with some screws on the side and it's ready to go. All right so at this point the mounting and wiring is done, it's time to attach the fan blades. I could have connected the fan blades first and then dragged the whole thing up there and locked it in place. It just would have made it a lot harder to wire that way and it's really hard to, to have that thing pulled up on the ladder with me on its side with the blades. Um, so it just seemed uh, easier to mount the motor and then attach the fan blades. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm using a battery powered screwdriver for this whole job, which is what I use to assemble my entire kitchen and all the other projects I do. All right, you can see now I've got the blades up. So I'm continuing to install the blades here. Uh, it went pretty simple. There's uh, two screws for each blade. Uh, you kind of have to get the uh, screwdriver in at a right angle to get the screws in. And I'm just hoping that I don't drop any of them while I'm on the ladder. Uh, so I don't have to go down and pick them up and come back up because it just gets to be a much longer process that way. I wired the ceiling fan into a switch so I can turn it on and off by the switch. But I still have to pull the chain to change the speed. This ceiling fan did not come with a remote. Uh, but if you're looking for a ceiling fan with remote, you're either going to have to buy the remote separately or buy a different ceiling fan. And just like that, it's installed. 
Alright guys, so here's the finished product. We've got the ceiling fan mounted, right? You can see why now we painted the uh, conduit up there, right? It all looks like it's supposed to. It's all black, right? The cover plate. And then you can see the conduit coming down here, right? Going behind that stud right there. And then all the way down. Alright guys, so what do you think? The ceiling fan, the lights, the plant, it's all starting to come together. Hit the like button, show us some love, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.